Guys, how you doing? This is Chris Bruton, uh, Low Rants Pro Staff, and I just wanted to um, talk about it. Um, an issue some guys may have with wiring their boats. I know in one of our forums, uh, a guy was talking about um, your electronics. I'm not getting enough power. Maybe um, blinking. Uh, maybe um, turning off on their own. And there's a direct reason for that. Let me show you what we got here. Okay, so as you know, I got the Legend boat and I have four graphs on here. I got two 12s and I have two HDS9 carbons. All right, those dines and those 12s require a lot of power. So what I did is a lot, of, well, let me back up. A lot of times what happens when, when, when your boats get wired um, for electronics, they have the little ACC switches on your graphs or they have a direct power um, manufacturer wire that's in the console. Sometimes that wire is not very big. It may be like a 14 gauge wire or something or a 12 or it, it's not very big. Um, so to alleviate, when you think of power, think of a, a, a hose, okay? You got a fire hose and then you have a garden hose. What you want to do is you want to be able to take power from your battery, right? And you want to put it in a fire hose, basically, and you want to send it all the way up to that front graph, okay? If you have a little thin wire and you try to take power all the way down the length of your boat, some people got 21 foot boats all the way up there, that power stream isn't as strong. And so you lose some power just in the distance and then especially if you have, I mean, I have two nines up here, but if you have two 12s running up there and you have one power line and then you spliced it and you're trying to run two 12s or something like that, that's where you're going to run into your problem. So what I do to, re to alleviate that is I run what they call a duplex line. I know it's kind of bright in here with these blue water LEDs, but let me show you what it is. So this is a duplex wire. It's a 12, it's called a 12 slash 2, 12, yes, 12 slash 2. Um, and the 12 is the gauge wire, which is pretty thick. And you can also get it in 10, which is a little bit thicker. Um, I think it's a little bit too much, but I, you know, it can't hurt. So this is the actual ground size wire that I have. Okay. So if you look at a regular power wire, let me see if I can find one. So if you look at a regular power wire, so here's a power wire to a, um, I got them all tucked away real good. You can't even see them. But if you look at a regular power, okay, so here's a here's a regular um, Lawrence power fuse right here. It's right in front of me. So if you see how thin this wire is, okay, this wire sometimes is thicker than the wire that's wired in your boats to go to your graphs. So if you look at my, this is and this is my power wire here. So that white wire right here is my wire that runs the length of my boat. So I have a thicker wire running the length from my battery, because this goes off of my bus. So my battery runs to my bus. I got positive, negative. Let me back up. Here's my battery, positive, negative, and then here's my positive, negative wire for my graphs. And it, it's, a, it's a duplex, so it's two wires that run in this sheath right here. And this runs down the length of my boat. But as you can tell, this my duplex wire is thicker than the um, fuse cable, and that's fine. Because once you get to the graph, this can be smaller at the graph. But if you're trying to run this thin wire, the length of the boat, that's where you may have some issues. So this is what we call when we want a direct wire to the battery. You make this wire as thick as possible to your graphs. So I run this, this wire right here. This is my graph wire. If I was to cut this, all power to all my graphs would go off. Okay. So that, that wire, that duplex runs down my gunnel. Okay. And if you look under my graph, I got it right here, this white cable. All right, so I got it coming in here, and then I got another one that comes and goes to the front graphs, okay? And it goes all the way up. And it powers these graphs here. So by doing that, and then my fuses for these graphs is right underneath, I got my cover up here, I was messing with it. But underneath my, my precision sonar mount, if I was to open that up, that's where my fuses are for these graphs up here. 
So that stream of power through that to that from that battery that comes up, it goes all the way to here and then continues all the way to here. And that way my batteries or excuse me, that way my batteries are able to directly power my graphs all the way to the front and all the way to this unit and I don't have any um, power surging or blanking issues or anything like that. The other thing you may find if, you, if you're dealing with somebody that's got a power issue, okay? So on my boat, let me flip this up. So my boat, I have 36 volt Ultrax trolling motor, but I'm fortunate to have a separate power battery for cranking, starting electronics. And then I have power poles and all that. And then I have another three batteries here, AGMs that I use for my trolling motor. Some guys only have three batteries in their boat. So if you if you disregard, so we'll say we'll just disregard this green battery, okay? And we'll just say we have these two batteries, one, two, and they're running 36 volt trolling motor. This is their 36 volt. So they're running 36 in, in uh, series through here and then they're taking 12 volts off of one of those batteries and they're doing this with everything else. And they're wondering why they're losing power when they hit their trolling motor. And then they also don't have it wired directly. So you couple all those issues and that's, you know, they're wondering why I am losing power when I'm hitting my trolling motor, I'm getting a ton of interference, this, that, and the other. I guarantee if you alleviate that by one, adding a separate battery to run your your Pro XS, these 250 Pro XSs just don't need a 12 volt battery. They need special 12 volt batteries. And there's a there's a post on Basketball Central that talks about the requirements for um, these Pro XS batteries. So look that up, and you'll be surprised that maybe the battery you have to begin with isn't even sufficient just for your outboard, let alone trying to run. You know, I got 10 foot blades on here like i said graphs pumps all kind of stuff going on so do some research on that to begin with to make sure your battery's big enough to run your boat and then we can start talking about running all your graphs and stuff that you want to plug into there you know it's a big system there's a lot of things going on with it and we demand it to be working when we want it to work but we have to supply it right and we have to um make sure that it's wired right and function so everything is cool, everything is powered correctly, and everything is good to go. So I hope this helps. Um, with anybody that may be having some issues with power, this is a good idea to, to try out um, to help you reduce interference, to help you to get, make sure you got constant power to your um, Lawrence units, and that um, you know you just won't have any issues in the future. All right, it's Chris Bruton, Dominator Weights, Lawrence electronics signing off peace later